If you could subscribe, that would be fantastic. Just helps me grow my little channel. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to another video. We've got our swaddle lambs in, gimme lambs, and some herd at gimme lambs. Just sorting them out. They were going to new winter, so we're gonna worm them and we're going to vitamin them. We like to give everything a wormer and a vitamin before they go. through the swan lambs <laughs> and <laughs> I can't do this anymore right we have sorted through the swan lambs into two batches yep. one batch will be going to Newcastle I don't know which is which so we are worming them and vitamining them and we're going to mark them because that's how we work everything that goes away the lambs we want to have a wormer so once they've had that treatment they go through the foot bath Everything goes through the foot bath now. Have to keep on top of things. That's them done. Had a really quite good condition, I think. The swaddles. Oops. vitamin them lambs at Tosca with the vitamin. We don't usually vitamin, but we did try it at Tosca that day, that wet day. I don't know if you watched it or not. Um, and we said we'd see how it goes. And it, they've done really well. It has altered them and they are thriving now. So this is why we are vitamin these horned ones at home. So we're just preparing lambs, gimme lambs, our replacement gimme lambs for their wintering home, which will soon be upon us. So that's one batch done, on to the next batch. These tuck lambs that are inside that we're having to fatten, they aren't actually in bad condition now. So I'm just going to do these quickly. <whistles> so we're using this vitamin, Cars Billet and Super Selco. Um, got it with copper because of the horn lambs. Too much copper in white face lambs can be deadly. thinking why aren't you using the conveyor well I'm on my own now and we'll be doing something but uh, I have to do them twice and it just means faffing around but probably could have worked I'm not knocking it we're just not used to it suppose I could hang up on that but then I'd have to be pretty quick I don't know oh he's back now 89 99 This stuff. So that's all you get, a little tiny bit. There's two, two and a half litres of it. And it's 90 pound. And they get 2.5 mil each. So that's, that's a thousand lambs, isn't it? For a drum. That's quite good. A thousand lambs. Divided 90 pound divided into a thousand. Not point not nine. So it's like not point not nine. It's not even nine P, it's point nine P. And it also lasts up to four weeks. that batch done and on to the next put these back inside now I 
bail for the lamb. Job done. That's all our lamb jobs done. So we're just undoing up now. Same old, same old. From the comments in the previous video, um, it's going to be a long winter. Yeah, I do agree. It's always a long winter anyway, but being on a hill farm, there isn't a lot of grass, it, you know. It, and these were fetched in, were from Lupton, and they were getting out onto the A65, the road. So that's why we fetched them home. And they needed spaying in because we can't run bull calves with heifer calves because hanky panky goes on. And we do not want young heifers in calf at that age because that would be disgusting behavior. So that's why we spained them and separated them so they can come in. We we'll still have more than half outside. Just another day on the hill farm. So just thought I'd do a bit of baking. Making some flapjack, might make a sponge cake. A few biscuits. Yeah, that's the plan. Seeing as we've finished our sheep jobs, I might as well uh, crack on. All these jobs that we have to keep up with, it's all right doing outside jobs, it's inside do. Spot of painting is needed as well. So I like to upkeep the house as much as I can. It's not just outside, you know. I'm still in Eden Farm Supplies yard, but We've just got a feeder or two, a cattle feeder and a lamb creep feeder. First ever year we've had to buy a lamb creep feeder. Brand new, like brand new price has shocked me. £335 for a lamb creep feeder, a square one. Oh my god, and they had 10 in, you know. Wouldn't do any less on it, wouldn't have a deal. That annoys me. I like to get a little bit off, but Eden Farm Supplies, you are generally the cheapest around, so. Just, yeah, 10 still in stock, they can't get rid of them. Does that mean less sheep? Does that mean they're not feeding them as much? Does that mean, what does it mean? Might not mean anything, but yeah, obviously less sheep. It is Sunday. No, it's not, it's Saturday. Oh, I'm mixed up with my days already. Terrible. I'm all caught up with my videos now, so that's good. I'm ahead, I'm on the game. Just feeding my calves we bought. Hello! And um, a couple of walkers there. I'm gonna think what I'm doing. Not quite at that stage of talking in front of people yet. I will get there one day, just a bit nervous. So they're doing grand, look at them. Yeah. Not bald, not moaned once, so obviously weaned. Yeah, so they're doing well. We need to add to them, really. I counted my passports before. We've got 88 cattle on, which is very good for us. Very happy, very chuffed. Upping it all the time, as much as we can, as much as our farm can hold, uh, we will get there. You obviously want to build up something for when you leave. Like, we might not even leave. Who knows what happens? I don't know what will happen. 10 year tenancy here and we're five years in. So come February 25, we will be six years in. Oh, it's getting closer, getting closer. Damn it. Anyway, it is what it is. We're very lucky to get a 10 year tenancy. Just could have done with 20 years really, or more. But anyway, we're making the most of it. We're doing our best and we want something at the end of it. If we have to leave, then we have something behind us. Do you know what I mean? So that's why we like to build up as we go along. When we came here, we only came, we came here with no money. We didn't have a penny to scratch our bums with. Um, but we got through, we've made it, and look at us now. I'm so proud of ourselves. Obviously, it's not easy. It's not an easy ride at all, but we're getting there. We're on the right road, if you know what I mean. Let's see if we can carry on as we mean to go on. So today, Oliver and Peter and Jim Bob have gone for them lambs at Tosca. So the lambs we have that we're running on a little bit, they're coming home. Because we need the grass to grow a little bit for tupping time. We take some yows and Beltex tups there. So we need that to grow a little bit, freshen up. And so they're bringing them home and they'll all be to 
Um, go through, sort, maybe see where we want to put them, one thing and another. Got a nice reaction on the last video, but uh, it's a good job Oliver has thick skin. Well, I do as well, but it's a good job he has thick skin and it's a good job he doesn't take to heart what people say. He is like Marmite, it's like I keep saying, you either like him or you don't. And obviously I like him or else I wouldn't be with him, would I? I've had 16 years of him and he hasn't changed one bit. He's always been the same. And that's just how I like him. So the kids are here somewhere. They were playing in the shed before. I think they might have gone for the pony. Oh, there they are. Coming on the track with no pony. Keeps them entertained though. I'll send them back and then uh, they can try again. They're not gonna have it easy. If they want to do something, they try and get on and do it themselves. I do help, obviously. I'm not a nasty mum but it's the only way they learn. Just landed to get the rest of these lambs pretty perfect back in that, might I say. They're just there. Right, let's get them loaded. I was pointing at myself, wasn't I? What? Okay. Oh, so haven't they done well since we've bitten them? Oh, these have done well, yeah. Yeah, they've done well since. Loaded up, let's rock and roll. Dad was in the area and he wanted to see if I could do it myself. Of course I can, Daddy. <laughs> Very nice of him, though. What them bits are? Them woggles. I'll have to Google it. It's a Sunday morning. I am caught up with my videos. The kiddies are helping us this morning. Peter's just bedding them up. I've just mucked them out. I'm going to feed them. Oliver's on with his puma. So, to take it to Hayton's to get fixed, it would be £1,000. So, he's going to fix it himself. All it needs is something about the diesel tank. Uh, so he's going to try and do that today, take the tank off and cut something off it. But we are very good friends with John Barmer, so he does advise us, so, which is really good. I think he's a relation to me actually, John Barmer. Yeah. So he's going to bed them and then we'll feed them. Fresh. It looks what happened to you? What? What happened to you, your head? 
What happened last night? I got gum stuck in my hair. This no. is why I don't like chewing gum. No. We had to cut a bit off. And then now she's put a plaster on just to put the braid in. Yeah. yeah Care to explain what we're doing here? Said, Pardon? I've just said. Taking the tank off? Yeah. Why? Take the gauze off. Is it causing problems? Yeah. yeah. I'm not convinced. No? Do you think it will still work with the gauze off? Still have the same issue? Mm, right. And so doing it yourself saves what? Oh, is that it? That's it? That's it. Right. So see how you get on then when you put it back on. You're expecting something dirty. So how much are you saving and doing it yourself? Thousand pound? I thought you knew. I don't know. I thought you know everything. I don't know everything, no. Right, Looks oh. very complicated to me. Back All these wires. Do you know how it goes back? <laughs> so basically, as he's been using it, he's been chucking up an error code. And he's Googled the error code and asked various people and this is what they advise. So he's saving us money by doing it himself. Hell of a man. Right, he's done what he needs to do. We've got to put it back on now. Slide it back along. Put this back on like car clusters. That pipe there has to go back on. Oh. Struggling to get to it. He's put all this back on already. Don't know how, but he's done it. Just that pipe to put on. Awkward to get to, aren't we? Where's that Philip's screwdriver? Philip's is cross heavy. Screwdriver is it here? It's a good job you know what you're doing. Because I couldn't have done this. Yes, it's pretty simple, isn't it? You just do everything backwards when you take stuff off. Go down, Jack a bit, won't it? 
Yeah, yeah. it's gone down the beach. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's back in one piece. See how it goes. Oh, she's been one of them days today. A bit tiring actually. But anyway, we've got that tank back on. Um, hopefully it sorts itself out. If not, then I don't know. Another expensive job. It's all right buying these machines. It's the upkeep of them. And generally, it does it a lot ourselves. We serve everything ourselves. We do everything we can ourselves. So we're just going to bed up and do now. It's a Sunday night. I just want to give a shout out to Jay Mitchell Whitestone. He really wants to be a farmer. I think he's 17, his dad said. Um, yeah, get a job on a farm. Get experience from that. And away you go. I'll bed him. Never lets me bed him, ever. I will do though. So, Tuesday, we're going to Lockerbie. It's Chivyat Yaude. I would like to purchase, well, 10 if I can, to breathe some tubs, etc., just for myself. Just for myself. He's telling me not to, but I know we could spend the money on else, other things, but I used to have my own sheep and I would like a few of my own. Just depends what price they are. So, if you're going to Lockerbie, I'll see you there. Heifers have got some fresh silage. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, those are my best heifers. Yeah. What, Mabel? Those are the best heifers that we probably have. Yeah, I, I correct. The, I the biggest and the there. best so far. That's and that's a heifer calf off that bargain we bought out of Benton. It's very hairy. I love it. That's it's obviously it not one weave sort of bread, you can tell, but the rest are. Oh, Daddy's running you. <laughs> he needs us, doesn't he? Should we just take five minutes longer? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Mabel, on, can you pick on. this hay up and chuck it in the ring feeder, please, Lily? Yeah, come on, come on, come on, let's go, come on, come on. What is going on here? Wait, Mabel, do that thing where I'm a pig. Oh, You're I soaking, right. Lily. Watch this video for the pack of pig thing. I'm. You are an idiot, Lily Pot. Is it in there? Is it in there? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, bath time. It's a Sunday night. School in the morning. <laughs> Lily? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. <laughs> I'm told! Right, guys, what have we to do? Subscribe! And? That's it. Say bye. 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 So that's all I've got time for today. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it. That would be fantastic. And if you could subscribe, that would be even better. Right, guys, I will see you for the next one. Bye.